Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moonwalk Tours. We are back on the water in the big blue. Today we are up in a marine coast. Our main target species is gonna be butts, halibut. So it's been like two years, almost two years since I've been out here. Uh, last time I was here was 2022. I didn't make it out last year at all. But good to be back. I love this place. So like I said, our main target species is going to be halibut. But there are also some lingcat and rockfish as well. So if I get into them, I'm going to keep them. So I'm going to get my rig set up. My halibut rig. If you haven't seen the video of my halibut rig, check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. It's very simple. I pretty much use the same rig for link cut as well. Link cut rockfish. We're looking at four foot swell every eight seconds, I think. So I got my weight line longer than my leader because I want to keep the hooks off the ground. A lot of rocks and reef here. Even if I get my weight snag, it's easier to get it out, unsnag it. But if your hooks get snagged, it's much harder to unsnag it. So I like to keep my hooks off the bottom. Whenever I'm fishing in rocky, reefy area for anything, I'm gonna put a slight bend to the herring. Oh, this is the herring that I caught in January, I think, 2022. I only got a couple dozen earlier this year, and I used them all already. So, old herring would have to do. Old herring would have to do. Let's go! So, if you're not familiar with the spoil and wind wave, Check out the video in the link. I did a little explanation video on the swell and the wind wave. And I also show you how I check them and what to look out for. So yeah, it's breezy this morning, it's breezy. Get him. What kind of timing is that? Somebody asked, somebody says no, somebody says fish on. This is like beautiful. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think it's a butt. I think it's a hey, butt. Good morning, old friends. This is uh, Josiah. Glad to hear you getting them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess I have aged since your it's got some way to last it. contact. Yeah. Maybe three years. Yeah. Ah, maybe two. Yay, Josiah. I've been waiting to hear your voice. This is Eddie out. Yeah, Joe. Coming out, Joe? It's got a nice weight to it. Yeah, I'm here in the uh, prowler. I'm just I'm on the paddle. Yeah, buddy. It's a decent sized butt. It's a good sized butt. I got him. You stole that line. That's what I'm talking about. Congrats.
ayer. Jumped out on me. You gotta fight it again. Come on now. Boy, Whew. what a drama! What a drama! I have to fight it twice. <laughs> ah, send the stringer now. I feel better. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. About thirty, I think. Okay, let's give it a measure. Uh, mouth closed. 33. 33 inches? How big move? 50 inches? No, no, no. 33. That's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size. I got it on a small Spanish mackerel. So I started with the uh, herring and for like two and a half hours I got nothing. No bites at all. It seems like they're kinda picky right now. They're not really hungry, they're not really feeding, so I decided to go small. And uh, I got them after like five minutes later. Spash macro, like anchovy size. 20 minutes later. Good shot. I don't know yet. Could be. I think so. I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, for sure. Get away. Yeah, it's a butt. High Tony's, maybe? High Tony's? 26. <laughs> Got it. Ooh. Smaller. Maybe 26. But I'm happy. I am happy. <laughs> I got my second one, smaller 26. 
26 and a half. Must be nice. Thank you. Very nice. I don't know. <laughs> you got your limit a few days ago. What? I said you got your limit a few days ago. So early in the morning, I was kind of losing. I was kind of losing hope because I didn't get a single bite for two and a half hours. And then uh, I got this 33 incher. And then about 30 minutes after, 26 incher. I got my butt limit. I'm happy. I'm stoked. Turned out to be a really, really good fishing day. It is a little breezy. We were expecting maybe five miles per hour wind, but it's been blowing 10 to 15 um, all morning but it's not too bad the swell is not high so it's not too bad at all so one thing i really like about this kayak is this fish hatch i got my fish in there all my rod everything also i have a live boy here which i can put stuff in here too and a dry hatch right behind me and also i can strap down my landing net right over here as well so on the way in during the surf landing even if i flip no yard sale i don't lose anything i don't have to worry about broken rods sand getting into the wheel nothing like that I love it. All right, guys, we're back on land. The landing was easy. It was the surf was much smaller than the the surf that I launched this morning. So going home with the 33 incher and 26 and a half, I couldn't be more happier. So yeah, what a good day. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.